This is an excerpt from Beloved Archangel Gabriel, from the Bridge to Freedom Journals, Book Two: The Spirit of Hope and the Power of the Resurrection Flame. It was at a time when the Teton Retreat was open. Hail to thee, O nature spirits, all who are a part of this magnificent countryside! I, Gabriel, the messenger of the Most High, bring you love from home. It is I, the cosmic angel of resurrection, who has awakened you from sleep each springtime, calling you again to don the festive garments of fragrance and beauty. In earnest and obedient response to my call, you become the magnificence of the resurrection flame, the example to mankind of what can be done by obedience to life. Beloved hearts, the complement of my life stream is known as cosmic being hope. Thus, resurrection and hope. Move hand in hand across the face of this earth, stirring new life from the ashes of a dead past, the second birth. They bring the divine pattern and plan to remembrance within the nature kingdom, and without resistance, that kingdom manifests the glory of immortality, springtime after springtime. To those sons and daughters of men who choose to accept my light, my message, and my presence, it is now my privilege and honor. To bring the remembrance of the divine image, the immaculate conception held within the mind and the heart of God, that image nestles within the threefold flame, within the physical heart. Let it be as obedient in response to me as are the flowers of the early springtime. As I bring to you tonight remembrance of the homeland, let resurrection and hope stir within you. That illumination which makes your spirit rise and throw off the bondage of human thought and feeling. Let resurrection and hope take command of the flesh garment which you occupy. Transmute those garments into blazing light and make each one a son, a daughter of the Most High Living God. Then you shall be crowned with the diamond crown of immortality, carrying the scepter of God dominion and mastery. As you so reveal your master presence. It shall draw all imprisoned life to you, that you in turn may wave the wand of immortality over it and set it free. Beloved ones, tonight I bring you the love of the great archangels. I bring to you the hope of my beloved. Without hope, no life stream would continue to exist. So tonight I ask you to call with me for the angels of hope to breathe upon the hearts and souls of spirits of all those in the realm of limbo. And into the astral and psychic realm, where life streams have been imprisoned for thousands of years, this will help to stir them again from the lethargy, which comes from that feeling of hopelessness and helplessness. The wings of hope are outstretched over this entire planet tonight, and her presence is pouring its blessings. As we draw the attention of the great karmic board to the petitions of beloved Serapis Bay. The Brotherhood of Luxor and myself, as representatives of the resurrected spirit from whence will rise the ascended one, I ask you to join with us in calling for the raising of the spirit of hope within mankind everywhere, as well as in the elemental kingdom, which seems so antagonistic toward mankind. That elemental kingdom has been forced into destructive thought and feeling forms, humanly created entities of such distortion. That I would not care to describe them to your consciousness. Those elementals too have lost hope. Those who were born to live in the light of the sun, swing freely in the wind, to ride on the clouds. These are now imprisoned in the creations of the astral realm, pressed out of the thought and feeling centers of mankind. Some are compelled to abide in these forms for ages and ages. Tonight we bring new hope to such elemental life so imprisoned. In these petitions, which we are to make tonight, please ask with us for the removal of the magnetic centers within all humanly creative, destructive thought forms. This will automatically allow the imprisoned elementals to release themselves from those forms and rise into the sun for repolarization. Beloved ones, today you stand 
at the threshold of a new era. Angels and men shall walk along life's pathway together. This is the activity of the seventh ray, and we, the great lords of the angelic coast, come to bring this remembrance to you. Now, as we make our petition to the karmic board, would you please arise and join your sweet energies with us in such a petition? Hail to thee, O karmic board, great and mighty dispensers of mercy and justice to our earth. I, Gabriel, Archangel of Resurrection, speak to thee on behalf of the Brotherhood at Luxor, on behalf of beloved Serapis Bay, on behalf of the hope which is the survival of the spiritual consciousness of mankind. I petition thee, O great and mighty board, to set aside now and forever the dispensation of the old era, wherein death and crucifixion represent the primal impulse toward which the attention of the Christian world has been focused. I ask for the privilege, honor, and opportunity of speaking into the heart of every live stream belonging to this evolution and to convey to the outer consciousness that the goal of life is the ascension. In the name of God, in the name of life, in the name of all the mankind of earth and the imprisoned elementals, in the name of those angels who have taken human form, I make the call this night for the ascension at the close of this earth life of every soul upon the planet, so that none are forced to return in flesh bodies. I make the call tonight for the right and privilege to take the sword of living flame into the psychic and astral realms and plunge it into the heart of every human created entity that is there, forming the mass effluvia, pressure and blanket of human creation in which mankind moves. I ask for the privilege of breaking asunder the magnetic pull created by the thought and feeling centers of mankind, which elemental life has been forced to obey. Allow every bit of elemental life within these forms to be free, to be free, to be free. Let them return this instant to the heart of the sun for repolarization. I ask this for every thought form of alcoholism, sex, lust, insanity, and every vicious human creation that has attached itself to any life stream upon the earth. Let me also plunge that living sword into the great overshadowing entities created from the mass thoughts and feelings of mankind, which represent war, plagues, and disease of every kind. These abide over cities, countries, continents, and even the planet itself. In the name of the God of life, I ask you to remove from elemental life tonight the necessity for longer obeying destructive impulses of mankind. Give them their eternal freedom. Let the psychic and astral realms be no more. These realms are but an effluvia of concentrated and imprisoned elemental life. O powers of light, remove tonight the vow of obedience to mankind, which was taken by the elementals in all kindness. In the name of Helios and Vesta, and the sun behind the sun, I make this plea, release elemental life from the necessity of taking on the forms of vicious and destructive thoughts, feelings, and spoken words. Now, O oh beloved great and mighty karmic board, with my own two hands I am willing to strip every one of the ten billion souls of those humanly created entities which feed upon their life. These forms are created by anger, malice, hatred, gluttony, in fact every one of the deadly sins, as well as the subtle sins too. Give me the freedom so to act. Give me the opportunity to restore them to that freedom which they had before they wove those shadows about themselves. Then you will see that their life will no longer have the struggle with those creations of the past. So relieved and released from that pressure, their life will give you the light you require for this earth, that which is required to make this dark planet a blazing sun. Powers of Light Kuan Yin, Queen of Mercy, I ask for the earth and these people, mercy. I ask this for the earnest shepherds of this activity, and for those in orthodox channels as well, all those ministers, priests and rabbis, all good men and women everywhere. Give me the authority tonight to bring to these freedom from the karma which they have ignorantly created. Let this be done through the release of my own vital fires. Give me opportunity now to breathe upon the heart flame and resurrect the mastery, powers and faculties which they had in the great central sun before the world was. Let this be done particularly for those who have the memories in the etheric and causal bodies. 
Let me revivify these memories and powers with such confidence that these beloved ones become masters in works and not in words. Something more than ordinary must be done. To this end, I, Gabriel, Archangel of Resurrection, speak to you on behalf of Lord Michael and all my brothers in the angelic kingdom. To this end, we give our life and shall dedicate whatever energies you ask to make a balance for these life streams. Let us show all mankind what the resurrection flame can do. Let the ascension be an accomplished fact for every soul as he leaves the earth at the close of this embodiment, freed from the karma of the past. In thy name, O God, I have spoken. To thee, great lords, I bow and rest my case, serene in the knowledge whatever thou shalt do will most certainly be in alignment with our endeavors to make this planet shine like the sun. Now, abiding within the state of listening grace, will you remember your friend Gabriel? Know that at any moment, even when you think not, I may be required by the law that you and I stand face to face. Prepare well for that moment, for no man knows when it comes. May you be able to say in that hour that truly you are the servants of the Lord. My love enfolds you, as does my light, Blessings and gratitude for your service. Accept the love of hope, myself and all the angels of heaven. We thank you. Mm-hmm.